Happy Random Math Friday, everybody. You're looking at a 10-year-old Verizon Samsung Galaxy S5. Um, it's been updated to run Android 11 via Lineage OS 18.1, which is pretty amazing because this is an EMMC 11 variant. Its bootloader cannot be unlocked, so there's some software trickery involved to circumvent the bootloader security checks. Um, let's do a, do a quick overview here. Android 11, Lineage OS 18.1. You can see the, the device string. It's a G900V. It's a clean ROM, minimal apps. It's just the bare minimum with Play Store support. Add what you want, which is what you want on a device that only has 16 gigabytes of internal storage. Um, I installed ADA, CPU-Z, Solitaire, Explore, VLC, all worked as expected. I also used the built-in music app to play some MP3s. Um, very happy with what it is. It's a 10-year-old device with an old sock and 2 gigabytes of RAM. It's a little laggy. But it works good enough, and it's amazing for what it is. And a real quick summary of the hardware of these things. They have 1080p Super AMOLED displays. They have the nice Samsung screens. They have dual-band Wi-Fi. They support USB 3 um, with MHL output. If you have the appropriate OTG adapter, you can plug an HDMI cable onto these things and mirror to a TV. So that, that might be worth playing with. Um, they support NFC. They have IR ports. People used to use them as universal remotes. I don't know if the, soft, the software apps that were needed for that will work on Android 11. I may or may not play with that. Um, they have removable batteries and support micro SD cards. They have headphone jacks. They also have a 16 megapixel HDR capable camera um, and supports 4K video. I don't know how much of that is nerfed by, by not having the Samsung proprietary camera bits, but that's worth testing. The hardware itself is impressive, especially since these turds have pretty much been fully abandoned because I don't think very many people are aware that there are current methods for circumventing the bootloader restrictions. I'm betting that you can find these for free. People are just tossing them. And I've collected quite a few. Um, now a real quick overview of how to install this. Um, there's two files, and I'll put links in the description, but you're basically downloading two files. The S5 Root Tools 2023 and a modified version of Lineage OS 18.1 that the author of the root tools pre-tweaked to be compatible with with his method to get this to work. So you unzip the root tools to a folder and open a command prompt at that location and then you run something called safe strap. Um, this assumes that you have USB debugging enabled on your device. I also had to disable my antivirus. That's standard. When safe strap is done, your phone will be running a minimal, in, uh, minimal version of Android, um, just enough to let you get to the next step. Transfer the Lineage OS zip to the internal storage of your device. Um, I just put it in the downloads folder, and then you uh, restart into the TWRP recovery, do a factory reset, and then install the zip. It's that easy, and I'll include the steps in the description. The only tricky part is getting into the recovery and how you do that with the phone powered off, you hold down the home, volume up, and power. So again, in powered off state, it's home, volume up, and power. Takes you to the TWRP recovery, um, you do a factory reset and install the zip. That's it, and then you're done. It's super stupid easy. Anyway, happy Friday, and I hope if you find any of those devices, this motivates you to maybe repurpose them.